Hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. All right. Good. Good evening. How are you doing? Good, teacher. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice. Okay, Karen, no problem. No problem. Is everybody ready to start the class? Yes, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, Ellen Nielsen. You're ready. Hi, nice. teacher. Good evening. Hello, my dear. How you been? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Juan. Well, uh, I've been kind of good, you know. I'm really? okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm okay. Did you check the <clears throat> the article? Did you check the article from yesterday? Yes, teacher. Very interesting, right? Yes. Uh huh. Really? Did you use it? Did, did you use any of those greetings today? <clears throat> Mm. Did you use any of those greetings? For example, hey, what's up? Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. You see, coming. that's like a casual thing. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, nice. Okay, people, we are starting now by calling the attendance. So please, please. Turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, please say present. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Hello, teacher. Blanca. Hi, Blanca. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Gracias, teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Present, teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present, teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present, teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present, teacher. Good evening. Juan, hi. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present, teacher. Okay, Juan. Karen Jamilet Hello, Rivas teacher. de Ayala. All right. All right. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Uh, present teacher. Voy a estar de oyente porque estamos en inventarios en la empresa. Así okay. que probablemente el lunes esté igual. Okay, but thank you for letting us know. Now, please uh, stay connected, please. All right. 
Uh, Rafael, ok, thank you, Rafael. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. All right, Ricardo. Um, Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. No Wilber yet. José Abel Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Well, my dear class, tonight we have a very interesting topic. Um, it's going to be mm, a kind of fun. Mm, yeah, because these are things that we need to know and uh, we usually forget the basics, right? We usually forget the basics. So the best thing is to practice it, right? To practice. But today we are learning some vocabulary, how to express our, how do we feel when we are sick? or when we have an illness and we want to report that on the phone to our boss, all right? That will be, or if you have a situation and you need a permission or to report a work absence, then today we are going to learn just a little bit of it. At least we are going to recognize some expressions. Uh, helpful expressions, all right? Those are called idioms, all right? Idioms. Just a little mm, uh, of them, all right? Some of them. How uh, do you say, ah, caray, eso sí me interesa. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, you can, I can, I, I don't know, I don't know, you, you, you say, I cry in English, right? Like, I cry. Uh -huh. interesting. Okay, that, yeah, that's, um, you can say, uh, it's worthy, I mean, it's worthy, all right, that's really worthy, right, eso sí vale la pena, okay, that's really worthy, mm -hmm. yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Uh-huh. I got you got me. You got me. Yeah. That's oh shoot. Amazing. You can say also oh shoot instead of the bad word, all right? Uh, you say I got oh shoot, right? Mm, yeah, I could say that. Uh-huh. Instead of the bad word, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. First thing we want to do is to have a listening activity just to remind a little bit um, about how to use the present perfect. Uh, this is a situation of a tourist in a place, in a city, right? So we want to, do, we want to learn some uh, vocabulary first, all right? For example, when you go to a place on a chat, everybody, the question, okay, the question is, have you been to? And then we say the name of the place, all right? For example, we could say, have you been to Jardin Botanico, all right? And you say the botanical garden, right? Uh, I will say Jardin Botanico because it is the um, original, uh, name, right? Ok. Entonces, esa es la pregunta para decirle a alguien si ha estado en algún lugar o podríamos usar been, podríamos usar visited, podríamos usar también gone, ok? Podríamos usar cualquiera de los tres, but the common one or the most common one is been to. 
So if you go to another country, for example, then um, or you want to know if someone went uh, to another country, then you can say, for example, have you uh, been to uh, have you been to Poland, right? Polonia, yeah. Have you been to Poland? How do we answer that? We answer yes, mm -hmm. a couple of times. Puede ser una buena respuesta. Algunas veces si ha ido más de una vez o dos veces, right? Yes, a couple of times, All right? O podemos decir yes, como es una pregunta directa, I have, okay? Yes, I have. Y tenemos una palabra que es already. ¿Ok? Already significa ya. Pero para oraciones afirmativas. Les estoy explicando esto por el listening activity que vamos a hacer. ¿Ok? Uh, already significa ya. Ya, pero en afirmativas. Entonces, podríamos decir yes. Como es un adverbio, ¿verdad? Yes. I already have. Okay? Yes, I already have. Okay? Yes, I already have been there. Okay? Yes, I already have been there. Okay. Recordemos el participio de los verbos. Eh, la historia que van a escuchar ahorita es um, Have you ever written a camel? Okay. Ah, se me olvidó el you ahí en frente, en medio de have and ever, okay. Have you ever? Have you ever? Esa frase, have you ever? La usamos para preguntarle a alguien si alguna vez has, ¿ok? Alguna vez has. So, have you ever written a camel? ¿Ok? Written is the past participle of uh, write, ¿ok? Remember, write, wrote, written. That's important to know this, the present, the past, and the past policy. Okay, ahorita les voy a pasar el link. Lo vamos a ir a escuchar. Va, para escuchar ese, ese ejercicio, tienen que escuchar toda la historia primero. Y no vayan a intentar darle next antes de oír toda la historia, porque ya no van a poder oír la historia. Entonces, ahorita les voy a pasar el link. Para practicar. Oh, have you ever seen the train? Ah, the rain, I'm sorry, the rain, okay. Have you ever seen the rain? It sounds a romantic one, right? Hello, good evening, Wilber, welcome. Okay, please, everybody go to that link, click on the link, listen to the story first, and then you answer or click the answers. First, okay. Don't click next before finishing of listening to the story, all right?
¿Pudieron escucharlo todos? Pide inicio de sesión, teacher. Uh, no, exactly, not exactly. En, por lo menos no me ha pedido a mí eh, inicio de sesión. Solo dele close. All right. ¿Quién ya está contestando? All right, Pedro. Uh -huh. Has he been in a riverboat tour? Hello, Henry. Sorry, teacher. Cuando, cuando hablan se interrumpe el audio, se escucha más fuerte el salón y aunque lo quiero cerrar el, el volumen del salón, no deje, se oye más fuerte ya el audio de aquí que, que el propio audio. Oh. Eh, no le comprendí, Ricardo. Eh, ¿Usted quiere bajarle no, volumen? No, es que en, en, el, en el link que nos mandó, si Ajá. uno abre el, el, el link y sale el audio, eh, aunque yo cierre los audífonos de aquí, siempre se escucha la su voz y la de los compañeros no sé si a los demás les pasa igual ah no entonces sabe qué póngale ahí a, a, bueno abajo ah, en desconecto. el no donde dice silenciar donde dice dice dejar el audio de la computadora ok dejar oh. el audio de ah, la okay. computadora y ahí nos va a oír a nosotros pero ah, nomás okay. termine se viene, no se va a quedar allá. Sí, okay. está bonita la historia. Right. Ya regreso. All right. Ajá. A ver quién ya lo terminó. I am. All right. Very good, Eric. How much you got? Eh, ¿qué más puedo? Hay que tomar captura. Pues siempre es bueno para que quede registro de que hemos estado trabajando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, lo voy a enviar al grupo. Ok. Y también ahí vemos eh, cómo es el avance, ¿verdad? Andrea va a estar de oyente, dice, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, guys. A ver, cuéntenme, ¿cómo les fue a los que ya terminaron? was so complicated because when when they are talking it's so difficult her the audio es que se escuchaba como eh, interferencia o sea cuando hablaban ustedes 
eh, se escuchaba como interferencia en el audio de, de la actividad. Oh, ok. Se escuchaban ambos, entonces era como un poquito difícil entenderle al otro. ¿Pero lo logró? Sí, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Bien, entonces hagamos eso, Pregun hagamos las preguntas. ¿Has he been in a riverboat tour? Yes, he has, right? Number two, what does he want to do today? He wants to take it easy, right? He wants to take it easy. He wants to take it easy. That's an idiom, okay? That's an idiom to say, take it easy. Because it doesn't have the same meaning, right? It doesn't have the, the literal meaning from the words that form that phrase. So it says, take it easy. It means take, tomar, eat, eso, easy, facil. Mm, tomar eso facil mm, is not it. No tiene un sentido literal, ¿verdad? Es un sentido... Eh, diferente a literal. Eso es un idiom. All right. He wants to take it easy because he is tired. And, and he says that those shoes are killing him or his feet, right, are killing him. Ese es otro idiom. Something is killing me because it's not literal. They cannot kill you, right? They are making you feel bad, making you feel a sore or pain, right? So it's an idiom too, something uh, that means different than the literal meaning of the words, all right? Has he been to a jazz club yet? Has he been to a jazz club yet? Yes, he has been already been to one, right? He has already been to one. Has he been to New Orleans long? Only for a few days, right? Only for a few days. All right, Are, is everybody done? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now we know how to answer and ask questions with the present perfect, right? And how does it work in a conversation? So now we are going to start a class, uh, the new topic, okay? The new topic is, as I said, very interesting. So let's start. <clears throat> we are still on troubleshooting unit three. Thank you. Troubleshooting unit three. What is troubleshooting we said? Troubleshooting. Uh-huh. To fix something by ourselves, right? Without a technician present or mm, by ourselves, right? So the topic is how to use idioms. This is part one because we have part two, okay? We have a part two, but today we have part one, how to use idioms. We want to recognize, we want to know what idioms are and how um, do native speakers use idioms, all right? The objective for tonight is that you will be able to use idioms to report sickness, right? Sickness or a work absence, all right? Our agenda, we did our listening activity, our listening activity and we presented the objective. We introduced the class topic now we are going to talk about how to use and recognize idioms. And also we want to achieve some vocabulary, okay? Then we have a role play 
and a written exercise. The last activity and the most important is how to how you are going to use the vocabulary you are learning tonight, all right? You are going to role play a scenario conversation, okay? Uh, the scenario is that you are going to express a problem or an illness situation, and you are going to call in sick, okay? To call in sick. Uh, this is different. Look, calling es la conjugación, ¿verdad? Llamar, okay? Este es el gerund. Gerund es como un sujeto, ¿verdad? Calling, nombre, noun. Ahora, este también se escribe como call in sick. Así que no hay que, no hay que confundir calling in sick con call in sick. ¿Ok? Bien. Let's start then. Let's start then with this vocabulary. ¿Ok? this vocabulary. We have this question. What's the matter? A ver, todos vamos a aprender esta pregunta. This question is to ask what is the problem, okay? And we have three questions. We have what's wrong with you, okay? What's wrong with you, okay? In a more colloquial uh, form. And also, how do you feel, okay? How do you feel? What's the matter? What's wrong with you, okay? What's the matter? What's wrong with you? How do you feel? Okay, usualmente cuando nosotros vamos a expresarnos que tenemos alguna enfermedad o que estamos sintiéndonos un poco mal, ¿verdad? Eh, Ponemos comparaciones, usamos eh, frases muy interesantes que porque a veces no queremos decir así como muy grotesco, eh, ah, es que tenía vómito, ¿verdad? Entonces queremos cambiar esa palabra que es como fea, digamos, eh, que hace sentir al otro feo, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, algo feo, entonces usamos o los hablantes cambiamos, ¿verdad?, a frases que son más llevaderas, más fáciles de eh, procesar, ¿verdad? Entonces, se vuelven comunes y a eso se le llaman idioms, ¿verdad?, esas frases propias de los hablantes. No tienen el mismo significado literal de las palabras como tal, ¿verdad?, eh, porque ese, por ejemplo, el primero que tenemos ahí, I feel as sick as a dog. Me siento enfermo como un chucho. Mm, no, ¿verdad? No lo decimos nosotros así. No lo entendemos de esa manera. Hay un significado para eso. ¿Qué enfermedad le da al perro, verdad? ¿Qué enfermedad es la que el perro más eh, tiene, verdad? Que sale a comer su sacatito y, y ya se arregla, ¿verdad? Entonces, son comparaciones, digamos, que se vuelven eh, más eh, coloquiales, ¿verdad? All right. So, the three questions are, what's the matter? What's wrong with you? How do you feel? Esta es la formal y más aceptada. How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo te sientes? Ok. ¿Cómo necesitamos expresar? Uh, I'm sorry. I will switch into English. I forgot. I'm sorry. All right. We need to express mm -hmm, uh, what we are feeling, right? What we are feeling. Uh, we want to express that we feel sorry. I feel ill, okay? Ill. Ill means enfermo, okay? Ill, enfermo, yeah? Puedo decir, I have an illness. Illness. Tengo una enfermedad, okay? Tengo una enfermedad. Pero también existe otra palabra. I feel 
sick. Ok. Sick. Esta palabra también es enfermedad. Uh, muchas veces podemos usarlas indiferentemente. Sometimes we can use them and the different, all right? Uh, or interchangeable. You can use ill or you can use sick in some occasions, all right? Uh, and the, uh, most of the occasions, they are the same thing, all right? Pero también puedo decir, I feel unwell, okay? I feel unwell. It's not sickness, it's not illness, but I don't know what I feel exactly, but my body is asking me for a rest or for, because you feel as if you are getting down, as if you are falling sick, all right? As if you are falling sick or getting sick. So uh, we have these three words, ill, sick, and unwell. All right. Vamos a ir a aprender un poquito de vocabulario. We are going to learn a, a little, uh, some words. Some words that are very important. All right. Okay. Sickness, enfermedad o enfermedad en este caso, okay? Sicknesses, enfermedades, sickness. If your head is in pain, then we call it headache. Right? Headache. Mm -hmm. What if a tooth is in pain? Toothache, right? Toothache. Toothache. Okay. Cold. Cold is like resfriado, like gripe. Um, something like that, cold, cold. It's not that you are cold, I have a cold, all right? Mm -hmm. Fever, fever. Temperature, high temperature, right? Cough, cough, <coughs> cough. If, you, if your stomach is in pain, we say stomachache, right? Stomachache, stomachache. Uh, if you have these um, burns or um, rash, right? So you say rash. Um, yeah, rash, no. Son granitos o alergia, allergy, or e itching, yeah, itching things, right? Itching bubbles in your, in your skin. Uh -huh. Yes, good. Picazón, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Por eso en español decimos rasquín. <laughs> yes. All right. Then we have uh, a sore throat. Sore throat. Dolor de garganta. Yeah, and I cannot swallow because it's inflamed over there, right? It's inflamed. All right. Now, you are going to see the question and then the answer, all right? Look at the picture and answer the question, okay?
Brush. Ok, bye. Ahora vamos a aprender acá que es I have. Ok. Así. I have a rush. Ok. I have a rush. I have a rush. Mm -hmm. And if you have these pots in your skin, yeah, and you have one in one place, one in the other place, and they are itchy, right? So then are rushes in plural, okay? Then I say I have rushes because they are in a different part of your body and you don't know, right? So those are rushes. But if it is in general, then it's I have a rush. I have a rush. All right. Ustedes van a escuchar que en el inglés británico se dice I have got, porque el verbo tener en el inglés británico lleva got, ok, G-O-T. But the mm, common, or eh, el idioma que nosotros estamos aprendiendo es American English, ok. So we are learning American expressions, right? I have a rush now. Hmm. Next one. Fever. I have a fever. I have a fever. Yes. I have a fever. Puedo decir a fever o puedo decir just fever. Okay. I have a fever. I have stomach. A stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Mm -hmm. Le dieron su cachetada. <laughs> All right, he got slapped. Oh, no. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, I don't know if it's toothache. A toothache. Toothache. Uh huh. Es que el, la palabra uh, que usted me dice H es ache. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. A C H E pronounce, uh, pronounced will be ache. Ache. I have a toothache. Toothache. Mm -hmm. I have a toothache. I have a headache. I have a headache. Yes. I have sick. Um, okay, no. cold, cold. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have a cold. I have cold. a cold, yes. Mm -hmm. I have a cough. A cough, cough, cough. Mm -hmm. S O U G H S a letter F cough. All right. Cough. Okay, guys. So good job. Good job. Everybody did a very good job here. Now we know how to say what mm, pain we have in our bodies, right? For example, my head, Teacher. headache. Mm -hmm. Tell me one. I had a problem connecting, teacher. I see you are connected. Yes, teacher, I am problem connecting. All right, but keep trying, keep trying. Try to stay connected because we, uh, been, uh, the score, uh, the attendance score is 
uh, by the minute, minutes connected. So please, please do. All right. Now we were saying that I'm sorry that when we want to report our work absence, then we use this vocabulary, okay? This vocabulary. So now let's go and try to do this. Let's try to do this. Ok, creo que se los voy a pasar ahí y lo hacemos todos juntos individualmente. Tienen todos Word para hacerlo, se los voy a pasar en Word, ok? Vamos a hacer un Word Search para agarrar vocabulario, ok? Es a vocabulary exercise. Oh yes, you have cramps in your legs. It says error, error. All right, let me see this again. Not possible. All right, I'll do it this other way. Oh, all right. Okay, there it is, guys. There it is. So let's have fun. Let's have fun, all right? Veamos por ahí si hay alguna palabra que no conozcan. If... The number one is pronounced uh, mis, uh, misless. Perdón, missiles, missiles, missiles. La que está escrita me asles es missiles. Missiles amygdalas, all right? Missiles. Si lo pudieron abrir. Yes, teacher. Okay. I can find it, teacher. Can you? All right, we are trying to. I can't. What is my computer? Is it put in your, in the, in the WhatsApp or in the link here? Uh, on the chat, uh, I mean on the Zoom chat. Pero no me carga, teacher. No me ha caído aún. Okay, I'm trying to do it in PowerPoint. Maybe it's going to be easier. All right. 
let's look at this. Let's look at this. I will try to share it this way and maybe we can see it together. This is, right? This is. Okay. A ver, everybody, please go to the board and uh, uh, check on the words. All right, check on the words that you are finding. Oh my God, I feel no good tonight. I feel under the weather tonight. <laughs> Say the word you are finding, please. I need you to practice. I need you to practice the pronunciation. Sneeze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cut, right? Cut. Continue with the numbers too, please.
Mm-hmm. Please finish uh, writing the numbers. What means? Call busy and use cold. Cold, cold is resfriado. Cold is a resfriado. Solo eso faltan. Cold and busy. Okay, busy is mareado. Yo estaba dizzy. Dizzy, where was it? it? Yes, because it is right here. Look, dizzy. Yes. Thank you, Henry. All right. Sí, dizzy, yo lo puse. Okay. Write the numbers beside the image. Write the number. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this other one. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, what, uh, what does uh, number two? Eric, ear. Your ear is in pain. You have a pain in your ear. All right. Dolor de oídos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two number three over here. I think this one is number four, the one that it is above. Number three, I think that's number four because it's cough, right? Cough. Mm -hmm. This one, sneeze. I think this is, hey, why did I write? Number three here. This is Eric. Eric. Oh, number two. This is number two. Yeah, this is number two. Eric. And then we have sneeze. This is number three. Yeah. All right. Three, four, and two. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number five, two thick. Uh huh. And is this number six? Yes, headache. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. We have no number one image, right? Broken leg, broken leg, number 10. There you are. But this is another broken leg. I'm sorry? No, the other is broken arm. Uh, but this is like a rash or something, and then he has uh call, call number three. Uh, right. And red. Mm -hmm. Too thick, runny nose, broken legs, stomach ache, fever, cut, and easy. Well, we don't have a number for this one, right? We, are, we don't have a number for this one. This is like a bruise, bruise or something like that, right? A bruise. Bruise, it's written like this. Bruise. What's it? Like this. Bruise or a uh, twisted ankle, right? Twisted ankle, el tobillo, ¿verdad? Supongo yo que el tobillo. Pero parece un rash, la verdad. It seems like a rash. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a bruised ankle. It's not a twisted ankle, I'm sorry. Okay. This is the broken leg. This is the broken leg. All right. Are we okay with this um, vocabulary? 
Is there any question so far about these illness or sickness? Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, Messy is what means. Ah, the number one is uh, measles. Measles is amygdalas, right? Measles. O también lo relacionamos con papera, ¿verdad? Measles. Mm -hmm. Pero es amígdala, amígdala. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you say calambres? Uh, did English? you say cramps? I remember you wrote it over there. Uh, one second. Because we have bruises when we... um. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Cramps. Cramps. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. Cramps. All right, people. We had a little fun finding the words, right? So now let's go back to the hard work, All right? Let's go to the hard work. And um, guys, I want to ask you, do you often get sick? Do you often get sick? Rafael Antonio. No. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Please tell me. Uh, was it a Nilsson, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, teacher, in my case, no. That is common. Okay, so you have a good health. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes they say that the, at the end, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it breaks you down, right? It breaks you down because yeah. your body is not getting used to uh, recovering, all right? Recovering, so you, it breaks you down. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so you've got to be careful with that, El <laughs> Nielsen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay nice. Um, let's see, Karen. Do you often get sick? Rarely. Rarely, all right, all right. Pedro, I uh, mean, do you often get sick? No wonder, sir, teacher. Do you ever get sick? I mean, se enferma? Usted, ahora, si usted se enferma, how, I mean, how often do you get sick? I Con qué frecuencia? Do yeah, you, yeah. do you often get sick? Así como usted se enferma seguido, do you often get sick? Uh, I... Uh-huh. If the answer is yes, then you say, yes, I often get sick, right? Yes, I often get sick. Okay, Pedro. Okay. All right. Now let's listen to Blanca Alejandra. Do you often get sick? It depends by the weather. All right. Because the weather is cold, sometimes I I have a cool and if it's a summer days, probably I can get a fresh. All right. Uh -huh. Because of the heat. Yeah, it depends by the weather. All right, all right, that's interesting. Uh, very similar to my case, yes, very similar to me. Uh, but look, if it is about the weather and maybe sometimes uh, our, our external factors that makes, I mean, make us <clears throat> feel sick, what do you do when you feel sick and you have to report 
a work absence for that sickness? What do you do? What's the procedure in your company? What is the procedure in your company to report it? I am going to the doctor and they give me a, sometimes they give me a mm -hmm. incapacidad. An incapacity certificate. Uh -huh. Yes, and I give, and I give it to my supervisor. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. And they give me some, how can I say, medicinas? Medicine, I get medicine. Medicine. Mm -hmm. Medicines and sometimes uh, the doctor recommend me take a report. Take okay. Uh, excellent. Take, take a rest. rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, take a rest, and and then I feel better. All right. All right. So you, um, your illness are not so long, right? So now let's listen to everybody here. What is the procedure to report a work absence uh, because of an illness in your company? Wilber? Uh, in my case, it's rarely I get a sick. Oh, right. But, uh, so you yes. don't often you don't often get sick. It's rarely, all right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I do, uh, I report to my boss. Uh, just when I my stomach ache, uh, I call my my boss and I I I, I tell him uh, how am I feeling. All right. So uh, he he tell he tells me, uh, hey, okay, relax. Okay. So I'm they grant home. you a permission. They grant you a permission to stay at yes. home. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So the procedure is to make a call. Yes. Yes. In the procedure. All right. Um, in my case, it's because. Uh, and the uh, how can I say uh, tiempo extra de trabajo uh, tiempo extra del trabajo okay uh, extra hours ah okay because my extra hours uh, have not done don't pay me the the extra hours oh so, so uh, it covers that's yes. like uh -huh. that's like to making up the time making yes. up the time all right yes. mm -hmm. so you make up the time excellent excellent now um we want to listen to hernan what's the procedure and your job to report a work absence hernan Okay, Abel, oh, it says listener, uh, Claudia. Yes, teacher. What is the procedure in your job to report a work absence uh, when, when you feel sick? Uh, la verdad, I don't get sick. Um, <laughs> okay, but if someone in your company gets sick, how do they report it? Uh, okay, do they have to make a call? Yes, le digo al boss. All right. To your supervisor, to your boss? Yes. yes. All right. All right, that's good. That's good. Well, usually we have to make a call, guys. And they have different other procedures like a text message, and then you have to send a picture of your um, disability or incapacity uh, certificate from the, the doctor uh, who attend, right? Uh, who assists you, so, uh, or examine you. 
Mm, I think that's the most common procedure. That's the most common procedure. But there are some countries where you have the right as a worker just to report and you have one day or two days, right? In the week or in the month that you are available to report sickness, right? And it doesn't count on your paycheck. It doesn't count on your paycheck if you just rest for a day. I mean, for the company is saving money because not everybody gets sick if someone is uh, going around, right? If something is going around, maybe a virus, maybe bacteria, right? So uh, it's spread all over. So they save money if the person who got ill or who got sick stays at home and then he comes back recovered. Yeah, they save more money. Uh, but there are other countries like ours <laughs> that they uh, make us go to work even if we are sick. And then we spread all over the bacteria and the virus and it becomes a tragedy at work, right? All right. Now let's go to our manual and we want to see some uh, expressions uh, how to report, how to report uh, um, or have a conversation to report a work absence because you are ill, all right? And this is on page 33. So let's go to page 33 and let's read this conversation. The procedure is the same. You, I read it and then you uh, ask for the words that you don't know. And if you know the meaning, you can explain your classmates too, all right? So here we go. <clears throat> Mr. Ruiz and Yanni. Mr. Ruiz is the boss and Yanni is the employee, all right, the employee. Good morning, this is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Riz, this is Yanni. I have a situation. Hi, Yanni, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Riz. Have a nice rest of the day. Again, good morning. This is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Riz. This is Yanni. I have a situation. Hi, Yanni. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Riz. Have a nice rest of the day. Esta conversación se parece a la que yo tengo con, con mi jefe. <laughs> eh, sí, entonces, uh -huh. igualito hasta lo que ella dice. Me uh -huh. tirado al perro, jefe. Algo así. Ah, no, no, tirado al perro no es aquí el significado. Pero es el de nosotros y se parece a ese. Ah, ok, tirado al perro, ok, nice. I didn't think it before. I didn't think that way. All right, interesting. Uh -huh. ah, yo, yo lo relacionaba así como la enfermedad de, tengo una enfermedad de chucho, como la tos de chucho que decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. pero no. In this case, as sick as a dog means a stomach illness, all right? Um, this person is throwing away everything they ate, uh, he ate, all right, or she ate, and uh, 
they feel dizzy. They feel like if they are having by the other way too, right? <laughs> by the other way too. So it's from the stomach, okay? It's from the stomach. Mm -hmm. The other word, okay, we have two words, vomit and diarrhea, right? Vomit and diarrhea, but we don't wanna say the words on the phone, mostly to our boss. So they use these kind of expressions, all right? I'm sick as a dog. Imagine the boss is having lunch or he is having breakfast and you start saying your symptoms. It's not good, all right? It's, it's, it's not good. So that's why these expressions exist. All right. <laughs> My stomach is killing me. It's not that you are dying, right? Or your stomach is making you death, right? Um, I mean, dead. Uh, what this means is that it's a very hard stomachache, right? It's something that you can help. You can help it, all right? A ver, next one, under the weather. Under the weather means that you are feeling like if you are getting a cold, right? If you are getting a cold or those um, symptoms that you don't know exactly, maybe you have a fever, maybe you have, uh, you feel unwell in general in all your body, that's under the weather, okay? Under the weather. Mm there's something going around, there's something going around. Esto, or this expression is when you think that maybe there is a virus spreading all, all over, right? Or a bacteria or bacteria, and it's causing these illness, right? It's making everybody feeling bad. All right. Teacher, mm -hmm. this is similar like uh, here in El Salvador, when change the season, the wine, when the wine uh, bring a uh, sickness, uh, enfermedades, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. they're similar, verdad? Uh, what under the weather? Uh, sí, correcto, más o menos. Mm, uh, no, because that's like seasonal. I mean, there are some seasonal flus, seasonal mm, sickness, all right? Some people are allergic and most of the population has these kind of uh, sufferings or diseases, right? Uh, because of the season, right? It's the weather, uh literally right literally but under the weather is an expression to say that you are not feeling well right you are not feeling well maybe you're getting cold or getting a flu or maybe you have some other symptoms right no necesariamente quiere decir el clima en la forma literal okay uh-huh uh, I think okay. that's what you were saying, right? When change the weather, when the weather changes. Yes. It's not like that. Those are seasonal things, right? Those are seasonal things. Mm -hmm. Seasonal sickness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. You. Under the weather, is, it, it doesn't matter if it is not raining it, 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 or if it is hot, you can use under the weather, all right? No tiene nada que ver con el clima, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, now, there's something going around means that everybody is getting sick, right? Maybe everybody's getting sick. And um, also, um, nobody else know at the moment, but when someone gets sick, then everybody starts, right? Everybody starts feeling sick. Okay, now, what about tip-top shape? Tip-top shape. Ah, it means, well, tip is mm, the edge, I'm sorry, the edge of something, right? The tip is the edge of something. And imagine the tip and the top, right? So it means that it's the highest feeling well, right? The highest well shape, all right? So it is, como decir, a la última, right? Tip top, 
lo mejor de lo mejor, ya, yeah? tip top shape. Me siento súper bien, vos, o sea, something like that. Take it easy. Take it easy means, uh, ok, tómelo con calma, ok. Take it easy, take it easy, don't worry, take it easy. Mm, no vaya a estar haciendo cosas que no, ok, so take it easy. Are we okay so far with this conversation? Siempre, siempre está la manera formal de decir las cosas por su nombre, ¿verdad? Y es correcto, más para nosotros que estamos en un nivel en donde nuestro eh, primer idioma no es el inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces es válido usar el lenguaje formal, ¿verdad? Es válido usar el lenguaje formal. Estos son... Eh, expresiones nativas que son muy útiles y que las vamos a ir aprendiendo por lo menos ahorita identifiquémoslas reconozcámoslas porque probablemente alguien nos la diga a nosotros ¿verdad? y poco a poco vamos a irlas incluyendo ¿all right? in our vocabulary let's start now ¿right? ok ¿is there any other question? That expression, that expression, teacher. There's, there's something gonna going around. Mm -hmm. Is, it's like uh, when we say algo anda dando. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Algo anda dando. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Virus, bacteria, something is on mm -hmm. the air, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we want to listen to um, Rosa del Carmen and Pedro Alexander. All right. Please role play the conversation. Okay, teacher. Hmm? Si usted comience. Yes. Sí, Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am uh, sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. And in tea to say, take it easy. Yeah. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot. Of, thanks a lot. Mr. Reese, have a nice rest of the day. Very good. Very good. Okay. Vamos a ver. Quizás vamos a eh, ir viendo parte por parte. Okay. La, la decimos. Uh, se nos ha ido pasando cada vez que yo, por situaciones que ustedes no pueden abrir el micrófono, no lo repiten. Pero la única manera es imitando, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a hacer eso, ¿ok? Hello, Mr. Riz. This is Yanni. I have a situation. A ver, everybody. Hello, Mr. Riz. With me. Hello, Mr. Riz. This Hello, is Yanni. I this have Gianni. a situation. I have a situation. Okay, everybody, please. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Tell me what's the matter. Tell me what's the matter. A ver, repitamos. Este es bien importante. What's the matter? 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 Ahí no tengan de decir, no tengan miedo de decir matter. 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 What's the matter? Matter. matter. Yeah. What's the matter? Okay. Bien. De ahí dice, my stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. Stomach. Con C. Stomach. stomach. My stomach. My, my, my stomach. stomach is killing me. Someone sneezing over there. As sick as a dog. As sick as a dog. As sick as a dog. 
a second as a dog. As a dog. Mm -hmm. Under the weather too. Under the weather too. Under the weather too. Este tú es también, ¿ok? Esto no es parte de la oración esta, ¿ok? Es under the weather. Esa es la frase. Under the weather. Under the weather. There's something going around. There's something going around. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right. There we go. So we have, thank you very much. You can uh, turn your microphones on, uh, off, please. Thank you. So now we want to do this prayer work. All right. So everybody are moving to the breakout rooms and practice the conversation. And after that, you are going to complete the prayer work. All right. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. Lady attendant. Thank you very much. I forgot. Thank you. Yeah. Arita voy. Okay. Vamos a hacer de una sola vez en el breakout room. Solo estoy sacando acá. Espero que no haya problema otra vez con los oyentes. Vale. Después que terminamos de hacer el pair work, vamos a hacer una pequeña conversación también, ¿ok? Podemos usar el vocabulario que ya hemos aprendido y el del libro, ¿verdad? Pueden seguir el mismo sistema que lleva la conversación de la, eh, de la que acabamos de hacer, la que están practicando, ¿verdad? O pueden usar su creatividad, ¿all right? Everybody, please turn your cameras on and say present when I call your name. Lo voy a hacer rápido, ¿ok? Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Ok, André. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present, teacher. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del CID. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Eric José Hernández Campos. Present, teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Hernán Antonio teacher. Chaco López. Thank you, Henry. Present teacher. Thank you, Hernán. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Rafael, Rafael Antonio Barrera Present Díaz. Teacher. Ok, ok. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. José Adelis Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Ok. Ok, Carlos Roberto también. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present. All right, let's go to the breakout rooms. Uh, solo recuérdenme quién está de oyente para que cuando lo mande lo pueda reasignar. Ok, a ver.
Rafael, if it is possible, you may join to, I mean, you, you may join your room number eight. Please, Rafael. Si gusta, inicia usted, Magdiel. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm a sick as a dog. Okay, understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. puede enviarme a mi grupo de nuevo con Carlos eh, tuve un problema ahí ok Pedro you were with uh, Carlos Ernesto o sí, con Carlos Carlos, Roberto no Carlos Ernesto Pérez sí, por favor ok hola hi Soy el teacher, este, traté de unirme a la sala como usted dijo, pero uh -huh. me sacó el teléfono. Ah, uh, alright, you may try again. Uh -huh. You may try again. Uh -huh. Go, go to the bottom of your screen and uh, where it says salas para grupos pequeños, then you join. Okay, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. You y are. Bueno, que estoy coordinando, entonces. Okay. Porque... Ok, uh -huh. ahorita voy a intentar pasarlo, pero no me aparece, fíjese usted aquí. No Qué me raro. aparece porque como lo sacó, es que así ha estado el, el Zoom, así ha estado. Uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. voy a intentar entonces pasarlo a otra sala, ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. All right. Hello, Andrea. Hello, I'm sorry, but the situation is that Zoom is having these um, uh, situations that it's disconnecting people. And mm -hmm. I had Rafael, I had Andrea, I have others. Yes. Y cuando los pasé, and one when I sent the invitation, I don't know what <laughs> happened, and Pedro got over here. I'm sorry, Pedro. <laughs> Oh, I'm okay. sorry, Pedro. All right. But you can work together, right? Rosa, ¿con quién estaba trabajando usted? Con Andrea, pero estaba de oyente. Ah, ok. Entonces voy a mandar siempre a Andrea para acá. Esta es sala 3. Sí. All right. All right. Eh, teacher Carlos había quedado solo. Eh, pues fíjese que cayeron dos de un solo en la sala de él en el momento que lo envía a usted. En vez de que usted lo enviara para allá envió dos para allá ok eh, pero no me quiero salir de Zoom porque entonces ya me voy a quedar afuera por eso es que mejor prefiero que aunque estemos así verdad no no cortar la, la clase ok ok teacher thank you thank you for your comprehension your understanding okay.
Entonces sería is Jenny. Is Jenny. Um, six. Eh, sick. Estomach, quiero ver. O sea, enferma del estómago, ¿cómo podría ser? Quiero ver. Dice, because I was sick to my stomach. ¿Verdad? Porque estaba enferma del estómago, o amaneció enferma del estómago. Or sí, she sí, has a stomachache, right? Mm -hmm. She has a stomachache. Hmm? She has a stomach. A stomachache. A stomachache. O sea, ella está como, o sea, con dolor de estómago. Yes, Hernán. Look at the chat. Yes, Hernán. Yes, Rafael. She okay. has a stomach ache. Look. Sí, sí. Stomach. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, vamos a ver. Y la segunda pregunta es que cómo responde a la situación ese de Mr. Ruiz. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Que también estuvo enfermo. Uh -huh. Try to Dice say that que... in English, Hernán. Ajá. Uh -huh. He. Sí. Subject, verb, and complement. He. Sí. Quiero ver. Eh, he. Dice que. Uh, I understand. Dice que today's. Uh -huh. I was feeling. Under the. Uh, que estaba algo como enfermo por el clima, algo así. No, no tiene nada que ver con el clima. Explicábamos que under the weather significa que se sentía mal. Tenía síntomas okay. de alguna enfermedad, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces sería como... Eh, he has... He, he has... The, ah, correcto. The fever. The fever. Um, the fever. Yes, pero como era en general, ¿verdad? Solo dice under the weather. Entonces uh -huh. podríamos decir he was uh -huh. feeling sick. Feeling. Ajá. Uh -huh. Feeling sick too. Sick too. I sent it to the chat. O sea, que se solo se sentía enfermo. Ajá, uh -huh. exactamente. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. He was feeling sick too. Ahí miren en el chat. Go to the chat. All right. And it says, mm -hmm. he was feeling sick too. ¿Y cómo fue la respuesta de él exactamente? Two days ago. Uh -huh. Sí, I was feeling under Late the weather too. Two days ago, uh -huh. I was on the water to. Weather, digámoslo bien, weather. Weather, uh -huh. weather too. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Uh -huh. Toda esa frase es la respuesta. Okay. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Okay. okay. O puede ser como eh, feeling sick too. Ajá, exactly. Porque significa lo mismo. Sí. Uh -huh. Yo creo que sería mejor así. Eh, feeling sick too. Eh, he has sería. No, he was. He, he was. was. Ajá, was. Ok. Se estaba sintiendo. Ok. He was feeling sick too. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. Ok, thank you, teacher. All right. Eh, practicamos nuevamente la conversación, compañero. Ok, ok.
Remember that you have to create a conversation, right? Ustedes también tienen que crear una pequeña conversación explicando otro, otra situación de enfermedad, reportando. Por ejemplo, Rafael puede ser el que se siente mal y Hernán podría ser el jefe, ¿verdad? O al revés, como ustedes decidan. All right? Ok, ok, ok. Va. Ok, please do. Vaya. Entonces... Because, because she's sick, she has too much teacher at tempo. What is the pronunciation? Uh, stomach H? Stomach cake. Stomach cake. 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 No, no, no. Cake. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stomach cake. Podría decirlo como el cake, like, ¿verdad? Cake, uh -huh. stomach, stomach cake. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, okay, stomach cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y la segunda, how does how does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? He understanding the situation because he was saying two days ago. Mm -hmm. He Uh, vale, acordémonos, vamos sujeto, verbo y complemento, ¿verdad? Para que podamos eh, dar una idea completa. Veamos si el tiempo... Exactly, ajá, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, pero en realidad no, no era una situación continuada, ¿verdad? Sino que él cuando la oyó, la entendió, punto, ¿verdad? Right? He understood, understood the situation. Él entendió la situación, okay. right? Mm -hmm. O O D. O D. Two understood. Okay. He was in two days ago. Because he was, uh, he was the same, the, the same, two days ago. Mm -hmm. Ya le habíamos, ya, ya la compañera ha dicho de, the same, pero ahí mm -hmm. está. The All same right. to, it sounds better. Sometimes, okay, if you don't say it, Uh, in this moment, maybe you don't feel the difference or you don't feel the necessity of saying that. But when you study the, uh, and, and, then you are going to feel it. All right. Uh -huh. Por el momento se las valgo, okay? Porque hay que estudiar el artículo indefinido, ¿verdad? Para que sepamos cuándo va y cuándo no va. Vaya, miren, ahí arriba, uh, or, I mean, go above and... Look at what was the answer of Mr. Ruiz, because he says, I understand. And then he, how, I mean, how did he respond? I mean, he said, uh, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too, right? We can say both. We can use formal language or the book language or Um, the uh, or these idioms, all right? Pueden ponerlo así como lo contestó o así como explicando, ¿verdad? Así que está muy bien. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. A lo que me refiero o lo que quiero llegar es que estamos aprendiendo idioms. We are learning idioms. But this is for us to know that there are expressions uh, proper of the language or the, the speakers, right? But we need to recognize them. We need to understand them. And gradually or eventually, we are going to add this to our vocabulary. So I need we to practice this, all right? All right, guys. 
Ok, teacher. Right. Y Please. vamos a hacer otro mm -hmm. diálogo adicional yes. a esto. Yes, a short, a short conversation, uh, but with a different uh, illness. All right. Ok, teacher. Ok. Try to use all the vocabulary there. Try to copy these uh, idioms too. Ok. Ok. Vaya, vieron. <laughs> Hay que hacer otra conversación. <laughs> How much is killing me? As sick as another. Henry, stomach is con C. It's con C. Okay. Esa H is silent. Okay. We say stomach. Stomach. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That is why it doesn't sound. Uh, bueno, cuando yo estaba chiquita, me acuerdo, el estomachache decíamos nosotros, ¿verdad? But it is stomach cake. All right. Stomach. Okay. There's something going around. Going around with the shape. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. Las que están sombreadas son frases como tal, son expresiones. Hello, Ricardo. Hi, Wilbe. Hi, teacher. Finally, you could make it, right? All yeah, right. but I can, I can participate in the breaking room. But you can practice with Wilber, okay? Oh, Wilber, is, ¿en qué sala estaba usted? What room were you, were you working? Wilber? A ver. Y cree que otra vez nos puede pasar lo mismo si lo mando al breakout room, Ricardo. Ay, ayer me pasó lo mismo y, y no sé si será por la tablet o qué. Sí, pero... la verdad que sí. A los que han estado con tablet les ha, les ha estado pasando eso. No sé a qué se deberá. Supongo que es la versión para ese dispositivo. Está en algún... Eh, mantenimiento de parte de Zoom o algo porque sí les está pasando a Andrea le pasaba pero no recuerdo si ella estaba en tablet o en tel tuvo que pasarse a teléfono la mía es nueva y en el teléfono me sale peor más que estoy choco el ah, sí. Sí, bueno, yo entonces... tuve problemas con el con, he tenido problemas pero con el proveedor de internet oh. ayer me tocó con ayer o antier me tocó con el teléfono Ay, Wilber. Ok, ¿por qué no practican acá la conversación ustedes dos? Ok. Ajá. La conversación está en el chat. Uh, no, no. Está... Yo la puedo compartir. Please, Wilber, tú. Esta es verdad. Yeah. ¿Es esta? Eh, no, page 33. Aquí está. Uh -huh. That one. Yeah. If you want to do that, you, you can see Mr. Wiz. Sorry. If you want it, you can be Mr. Ruiz. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning, uh, this is Mr. Ruiz. Mm -hmm. No, because uh, Cabal, cuando quizás estaba tomando el screenshot, aparecí yo así. Por eso me sonreí para salir bonita. Pues sí. Bien, That's bien. why. Uh -huh. I thought okay. he, was, he was taking the screenshot. I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ya, voy a ver la... ya voy a ver cómo quedó la screenshot. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ah, no, no salió. Salió. No salió. No Ay, salió. Por gusto me reí. Había adoptado la mejor pose. Sí, yo posando. Ok, guys. I see you. You finish your conversation. Practice. Practice your conversation. Ok. Pero no sé, no sé, Eric, si ya estamos ahí. ¿Se, se entiende mi letra? O, o... Porque es que ahorita eh, estoy sin recursos, como estoy aquí en el trabajo. Oh, okay. Ah, bien, aquí lo veo. Pero yo creo que desde ahí arriba se empezaba, pero no, ya lo vi. <ríe> no, solo lo de abajo es la conversación. Solo donde tiene una rayita separada, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Ok, ok. Empiezo yo. Good morning. This is. Ana. Así es, empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Good morning. This is Eric. Good morning, Eric. Uh, I just. I just called to say that I'm feeling ill. Hi. Quiero ver qué dice. Ellen Nilsson. Ah, hi, Ellen Nilsson, really. Yeah, I have a fever. Are you going to the doctor? Yeah, I made an appointment at 3 p.m. today. Okay, excellent. That's a whole should. help you. Ah, should. that should help you. I hope so too. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'll see you. Take the day off. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> What do you think, teacher? It's nice. It's nice. Uh huh. Just take care. I mean, be careful with the pronunciation. All right. Open okay. your mouth. Open your mouth. Eh, Eric, uh, usted se pone nervioso, Eric. No se me ponga nervioso. Vamos a ver. <laughs> confident. Confident. Así con confianza. All right. Confident. Open okay. your mouth. Open your mouth. And uh, you just say it. Just say it. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it again. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Good morning. This is Eric. Ahí estuvo trabajando. Hi, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Uh, Hello. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> All uh, right. Uh, For, no, How's it going? Yeah, it's very good. But for ah, casualidad en la vida? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Ah, ya yeah, me cacho. Ah. Uh, no. uh, Tony, uh, I, I, I mean. A ver, uh, Tony, voy a... Tony wants to say, uh, uh -huh. we, know, we know, we know what's so. With me, as we know, us uh, some like that. Oh, I mean, you, I mean, you two know each other. Yeah. Yes. From something in the past. Yeah. Yes, we do. Very in the past, last ten years, <laughs> seven years ago. Okay. Yeah. He, okay. Uh, Meet it. We, tenemos una frase que es for any chance, ok, by chance, uh, ah, pero déjeme confirmarla, déjeme confirmarla, por casualidad, por casualidad. Que lo cantinflas, le podría decir casualty, pero... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. Uh, porque casualty, Casualty es eh, las pérdidas de vida, de vida en, en un evento. Oh. Entonces son casualty, por ejemplo, en a war, en una guerra, casualty son los decesos, ¿verdad? Entonces no, no, no va por ahí la cosa. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ricardo, but it says by chance, by chance. By chance. Yeah, by chance we know each other, all right? We know each other oh, yeah. from the past. Yeah, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. me, will the same me. You are here, Tony. Are you family? Are you family? No, no, oh. no, no. Oh, okay. 
All right. Uh -huh. It was a, a, a nickname. It's a nickname. Yeah. Ah, a nickname. All right. Okay. I know he. I know he saw my father. Oh, uh, so um, Tony is your father's friend. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 uh, my employees, uh, I, I, I see with friends, I, I don't like seeing, but see like uh, employees. Oh, all right, all right. And uh, mm -hmm. will they try to work in my, in my uh, bank? Company. All right, you yeah, go over, company. you go over to the next level in the relation with your coworkers. I mean, with your employer, yeah. employees, you see them as a coworker, right? All yeah, right. But but I, I like me uh, see all the people like same mm -hmm. level. Oh, like okay, okay, nice. So, was it a lo um, I mean, a long ago? Was it a long ago? Um, maybe what what time? Maybe three years ago? Two years ago? Maybe there... How long do you know each other? Uh, hey, we know, um, I don't know, 10 years yeah. ago, so so, more or less. I, I don't know. When do you try work with me? How, how many times ago? Uh, actually, in my workplace, I have uh, seven years. Seven, seven years, you know. Maybe. But in, in the last work, I, I work it um, two, two years. Two years. Wow. Teacher, I think, and, and then uh, nine years. Be, be, yes. uh -huh. All and right, then, so it's a long ago. It's a long ago. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Long, long oh, but that's ago. good. Good news. Good news. So you know each yeah. other now. You can reconnect, right? You can reconnect. Yeah. Excellent. And we, have, and we have another type of conversation, but all right. But you can catch up. You can catch up. Yeah. yeah. Ah. You can catch up with life. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, please stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, eh, empiezo entonces. Yeah. Let's do it again. Good morning. This is Mr. Weiss. Hello, Mr. Weiss. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My, my, my stomach is killing me. I am as sick, I am as, sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks, th thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Very thank good. You. Thank you very much. You may stop sharing. Let's go. Okay. All right. Stop sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, people. How was your conversation? Who wants to share first? A ver, le vamos a dar. Chance para quien quiere hacerlo primero. Nice, Yo, Henry. Go ahead. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Very good. Hi. Blanca. Blanca. Oh, Claudia, okay. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. Yes, I'm here, I'm here. All right. Ah. Pues léalo, Blanca. <laughs> no dijo que lo iba a leer con el otro Allá voy yo, pues. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. There is Mr. Blanca. Henry. Hi, Hi Blanca, tell me, how can I help you? Uh, I have situation. 
I have not been well this week. Tell me, how do you feel? Monday, I had a rush. The I got coach, and yesterday I feel some days. Really? Are you okay now? No, I am feeling under the water. Hey, go home. I see you next Monday. <laughs> Don't get close. Don't get close, right? The plan is over, and we didn't have another. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Another answer. I'm sorry, Blanca. I did. I, I couldn't get it. Tell me. Okay, the time is over. It, when we when we was take notes and the time was over and we didn't have another answer to send the patient to home and take oh. a rest. Oh, all right, but no, don't worry, don't worry. But you cannot feel under the water, guys. You cannot feel under the water. You can feel under the weather, weather, all right? Yes, under um, the water, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the because water. under the water is that you are drowning, right? You are with the, I mean, it's not good. It's not correct, all right? Good. Okay, teacher. It rains under the roof now. Yeah, under the rain. <laughs> Maybe she's dead. <laughs> no, they don't mean that. They mean that uh, the the person is feeling under the weather. Uh, he's had. She's having those symptoms, right? She has a. I mean, she, yeah, she has a rash and uh, she got cough, right? And then she felt dizzy. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. You may stop sharing. You may stop sharing. So remember sure that, guys. With your close spray. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Okay, please don't get close. Bye bye. Go home, right? Excellent. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys, look, this is uh, important. Under, under the weather, weather, el clima. Okay, well. under the weather, mm -hmm. weather, no es water, es weather, ok, yeah. estamos bien ahí, a ver, entonces todos compartimos nuestra conversacioncita para, eh, ¿saben qué vamos a hacer mejor? Porque como hoy es viernes, ustedes van a grabar su conversación como que fuera usted solito, ok, eh, toda la conversación la va a grabar en un mensaje de WhatsApp y la va a enviar al WhatsApp, ¿ok? Así, leyendo una y la otra, una y la otra persona, pero yo solito, ¿verdad? ¿Sí se comprende? Sí. Para poder escucharlos y para que practiquen la pronunciación de esos idioms, ¿ok? Bien. Uh, it's too, I mean... It's 10.03 now, it's 10.03. So now we want to uh, roll calling and remember you have to turn your cameras on and get ready, please. Andrea, Sofia, Benito, tell me. I have a question. Tell me. ¿Cuál es el significado de weather en la oración de la conversación? By weather en sí significa clima, pero este día hemos aprendido que hay frases o eh, idiomáticas, ¿verdad? Frases idiomáticas que toman otro significado diferente a las palabras que están escritas ahí literalmente. Esos son idioms, lo que se conoce como idioms. Entonces, weather ahí no significa clima. Ahí lo que toma sentido es under the weather, toda la expresión. Under the weather, que significa toda esa expresión que se siente mal, que tiene síntomas así como de que ah, me, me siento bien down, como que me quiere dar, como que no me quiere dar. El bajón. El bajón, eso es under the weather, me, me siento mal, que le está dando gripe, le está empezando algo, ¿ok? It's like el caliche americano. Uh, not exactly slang. No, porque ese sería slang, el caliche. Eh, idioms son frases coloquiales, ¿ok? Son frases coloquiales que no necesariamente se traducen literalmente, sino que son 
un sentido de la población, ¿verdad? La, la gente que habla eso. Por ejemplo, como les decíamos yo ayer, ¿verdad? Te echaron del trabajo, ¿verdad? Eh, o podríamos decir, más vale tarde que nunca, ¿verdad? O podríamos usar los dichos de nosotros. Eso se compara un poquito con los idioms, ¿verdad? O eh, hay bastantes que nosotros tenemos. Pero, por ejemplo, como no se haga lo de los panes, ¿ya? ¿Ok? Uh, sí, o, o qué sé yo. Eh, eh, ya ahorita ya se les ocurrieron algunos a ustedes, pero así como no se haga el de los panes y ya sabemos que le está diciendo, hey, no se haga el loco. ¿Cómo que no se haga el loco? Ah, no, no se dé por desentendido, es la palabra correcta, ¿verdad? Hey, no se desentienda, no se le olvide, ¿verdad? Entonces, algo así, idioms. No quiere decir que no vamos a seguir usando el idioma formal, ¿verdad? O, la, o el sentido literal de las palabras. Pero es bueno conocer los idiomas. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Present. Ernesto Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yanis Present teacher. Coreas. Present teacher. Elisa Aparicio del CID. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Presente, teacher. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Rafael Alexander Present, Serna Díaz. Teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Presente, teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa Present, del Carmen teacher. Santa María Tobar. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. ¿Alguien Present. quiere quedarse unos tres minutos conmigo para hacer las preguntas en la sesión uno a uno? May I repeat? Yes, you may. Repeat me. Okay. Yes, you may. No problem. All right. All right, have a very good night. Please do your good homework. Night, teacher. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you on good Monday. Night. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Have a very good night, you too. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Carlos. Eh, uh, alguien se va a quedar con. con eh, el, me eh. dice Wilber que él quiere quedarse hoy. Ah, va. Pero ah, pues yo el lunes sí. entonces. Ok, ¿tenía alguna pregunta el ahorita lunes. así rápida? No, era okay. un material que quería ver. Por eso le digo, mejor el lunes oh. está bien, pero ya okay. anótame que el lunes voy a quedarme. Ok, perfect, perfect. Sí. Gracias, uh -huh. teacher. All right. Ok, Wilbur, there we are. Tell me. Good night. Sí. Good night, Rafael. Good night, Rafael. Okay. Have a good weekend. See you soon. See, See you. you. Bye. Sí, teacher. Eh, okay, tell me, Wilber. Vaya, eh, eh, fíjese que cuando yo estaba estudiando, eh, empezamos, oh, como empezamos aquí, ¿verdad? Con el verbo to be. En ese entonces, nuestro profesor nos dijo que el verbo to, el significado del verbo to be el de ser, estar, tener y permítanme. Perdón. Eh, los verbos eh, ser, estar, tener y el último que decía tener que. Mm. Ese se quedó, eh, por decirlo hasta ahí, hasta que llegamos en el tema en el que estamos ahorita. Eh, como, entonces ahí nos explicaba él que nosotros no tenemos que decir I have stomach ache porque el I have es como tener algo físicamente y yo no tengo el dolor físicamente yo lo tengo, pero no lo puedo ver no lo puedo tener entonces eh, yo siempre tuve esa duda porque en otras oraciones hasta ahora, que lo voy viendo con usted, que siempre decían I have, have a stomach ache entonces mi pregunta es eso es, eso me mintieron o no? <risa> tal vez fue una apreciación, tal vez fue una apreciación de 
eh, en el momento quizás estaban viendo alguna otra cosa. No sé, no puedo decir que él se ha equivocado o algo así, porque habría que ver en qué contexto, ¿verdad? En qué contexto, no solamente en las enfermedades. Entonces, eh, con las enfermedades tenemos diferentes verbos. Tenemos have, tenemos el verbo to be y tenemos feel, ¿verdad? Que es el, el más apropiado, digamos, para eh, lo que sentimos, ¿ya? Sí. Pero... Sí es correcto y sí es lo común decir I have a cold o, o una gripe. I have the flu. I mm -hmm. have the COVID. Right? I have, then we say the monkeypox, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, sí decimos I have. Sí lo decimos. Es correcto. En el inglés británico existe el verbo tener para decir poseer, ¿verdad? De, de, de tener algo que yo soy dueño, ¿verdad? Este, uh -huh. se le agrega, lo voy a poner aquí en el chat, se le agrega así, mire, I have got, así, así es el verbo tener en el inglés británico, de que yo poseo algo, o por ejemplo, por ejemplo, I have, uh, pero usualmente es como, es como contractado, I've got money, ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, yo tengo dinero, obviamente lo poseo, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Pero también se dice para las enfermedades, I've got a cold, right? I have a, I've got a cold, I've got a cold. Entonces, esa es la diferencia tal vez que podría existir en lo que eh, le quisieron mostrar en ese momento. Pienso, sí. pienso, porque sí, lo correcto es I have. Puedo decir, no puedo decir I feel a cold, no lo puedo decir así, pero sí puedo decir I feel bad, I feel unwell, I feel a pain in my head, I, lo que yo sí puedo sentir, ok, sí. so I can say I feel not so good, ok, I feel ill, I feel ill, Ok, pero sí puede usar I feel, puede usar I have, ok, pero I have es para las enfermedades así, con, eh, por ejemplo, tos, gripe, el dolor de estómago, cualquier dolor del cuerpo, si le duele la espalda sería backache, ¿verdad? Y todos serían con ache. Al final, ¿verdad? Usted, arm cake, arm ache, cake, cake le digo, arm ache, eh, o oh, si sí, es mi garganta es sore, porque esa es la otra, ¿verdad? Sore. Uh -huh. Pero no, el verbo to be, el verbo to be es simple y sencillamente ser o estar. En español tenemos los dos verbos, ¿me entiendes? Tenemos el verbo ser, yo soy, tú eres, él es, somos, etcétera, ¿verdad? Eh, son. Ahora, eh, el otro es estar, vale. Y la diferencia, ¿ok? Si yo digo, I'm sick, ahí tendríamos que hacer la diferencia en español. Sí. ¿Soy enfermo o estoy enfermo? <risa> right? bueno, las dos cosas. <risa> yes. So it has to be in the context. Por eso uh -huh. yo que, que hubiera querido ver en qué contexto tenía que ver lo que le estaban explicando. ¿Me entiendes? Eh, sí, ajá. sí, porque básicamente fue cabal en la clase que estamos ahorita. Ahí uh -huh. explicaba él eso. Yo no puedo tener en mi mano el dolor de cabeza. Ajá. No lo puedo tener en mi mano. Y Solo entonces, ¿cómo le decía que dijera? I'm, I'm headache. I'm headache. Pero Tengo ese, dolor de cabeza. no, ese es yo soy un dolor de cabeza. Ah, ajá. vaya, ajá. O eso. sea, por ejemplo, si yo, bueno, hay tantos idioms con eso también, ¿verdad? Uh, con dolor, con ache, con head, pero por ejemplo, you are a headache, you are a headache, es que estoy ofendiendo, estoy diciendo, hey, sos un gran dolor de cabeza for me, ok, <risa> ajá, you are, no puedo usar are, no puedo usar am, no puedo usar is, um, ahí sí no, <risa> en eso no sí, cabe. Uh -huh. Ah, pues ya estamos claros ahí, pero, okay. o sea, Sí, de, años después de, de que yo tu, de, de, dejé de estudiar, pues después se de las... Eh, qué cosas que uno veía, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. decían eso con el hub, yo ahí ya empezaba 
a, a tener a dudar. duda. Ajá. Ajá. Porque lo que usted dice también, me imaginé que tal vez estaba en el contexto del lenguaje británico. Ajá. Ajá, pero es I've got yes. en el Entonces, lenguaje británico. Ajá. Vale, por ejemplo, si digo yo, I'm feeling, tiene que decir feeling a headache. Ok, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Ah, sí, pero igual no suena tan como, no pero sí. Muy... Ajá, I, I'm feeling a headache. Yeah, I'm feeling a headache. Uh -huh. Sí, I'm feeling a headache. Si se siente más tranquilo usted, ¿verdad? Pero no, lo correcto es I have. I have a headache. I have a runny nose. All right. I have a, a cough. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Así que hay que darle reset. Hay que darle uh, reset. Al sí. <laughs> no, realmente, por eso no le puedo decir. Sí, Tal vez no en ese razón. momento se malentendió alguna cosa eh, que le estaba, no sé, me imagino. A mí me ha pasado, a mí me ha pasado en que yo, por ejemplo, le estoy explicando a alguien algo que preguntó y el otro ya no preguntó porque, ah, pues entonces es igual. Puede uh -huh. ser, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé, no sé, pero no le puedo sí. decir que el teacher se ha equivocado, ¿ok? No, sí, tiene razón. No, pero ética, que... ética de colega, sí, sí. No, tiene sí. razón, tiene razón. <ríe> Ajá. Esa era, era mi duda, o sea, ya de años después dije, ah, no, esto es así, pero igual tenía que sacarme esa duda. Ok, perfecto, excelente, Ajá. porque ahorita ya le queda claro que es I have. Sí, cuando, no lo, ve, lo, cuando lo ve lo voy a decir, es I have, no I am. Le voy a decir, I have a headache teacher. <risa> <Yeah>. <risa> y no sí. le vaya a decir, you are a headache teacher. Ah, no, pues, yeah. No, hey, come on. <laughs> okay, Wilbe. <laughs> yeah, no, sí. Me hizo el día usted. You made my okay. day. Ah, ese es otro yes, idiom, mire. Ese es otro idiom. Me... You make my day. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Yes. Y como los idioms tienen un verbo, ¿verdad? Los mm -hmm. idioms que tienen un verbo se conjugan en pasado, en futuro, en presente. Y se le da vuelta al gusto de uno en la, en la uh -huh. conversación. Entonces, lo bonito es identificar que es un idioma, ¿verdad? Y saber lo que significa y ver cómo se usa. Porque probablemente nosotros solo sepamos un uso, el uso normal, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Pero cuando usted lo oye en una película o lo oye en una canción, dice, ah, se puede usar así, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, mm. sí es importante esto de los idiomas. Pero ese, eh, okay. Y como fue el pasado, you made my day. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right, Wilber. Have a very good night, a very good weekend, and see you Monday. Thank you, teacher. See you on Monday. Okay, bye.